receiving reports of power outages across the city. Do not be alarmed. Several transportation systems have been suspended until further notice. Shenmai Jade is aware and the announcer. Reporting. Cutting blackout, power grid is operating as expected, minus a flicker or two, but we know that's not gonna last. Oh, even down here. Ah! Just everything so incredibly gorgeous. So unbelievably incredibly gorgeous. What does this mean? Mount energy boost. Oh, right, that's increasing our energy that we have. Um, does that like consume a charge kind of thing? I wonder if that does. I'm curious. I don't know. I'll just power my little buddy up as we go along. I mean, just look at this. <gasps> yeah, you can see the flickering. Oh, there it is. The grid has gone haywire. Restore order for the repair crews. Interesting. But what I was saying is that it's unbelievably cool that you can literally from that highest point up just get on a mount and come down here. Really, really, really impressive. Continue the story, the future in Jade. Jade Power Plant. Every single piece of concept art for this expansion is unbelievably gorgeous. That's the thing that we fight. Oh, so this is like what it looks this like in the story beat lockdown. kind of thing. I'll have to ask you to What's she doing here? <laughs> Why wouldn't I be? I just assumed you'd be busy cavorting with your gang of vicious sky pirates. Well, you wow. wouldn't be completely I wrong, but... Yeah. It's called Hollow News. Travels <laughs> at the speed of light. <laughs> and okay, or non-private well, communication lines. We actually have lines. permission to be here. Engineer Who should have already sent word. Is that so? She's gonna check and be like, oh, I feel really silly now. Yeah, you're right. Huh. So it is. <laughs> Oh, oops, that's we'll my bad. an eye on you, Big rest oops. assured. Welcome to the Junlai power plant. All right, let's take a look around. Remember, it's not just sabotage we're looking for. Right. And exactly the meta that's happening right for. now is Clint like is right. what Whatever is happening outside. By the docks, kind of similar. It wasn't sabotage. I think it might have something to do with Detective Rama and his big dumb hat. <laughs> you hear that, Rama? I just accused your hat of high treason. What do you have to say about that? Don't slander Rama's hat. It is amazing. <laughs> it worked. Come oh, here. perfect. It's encrypted. Excellent. Well done, timing. I was going to say, it's kind of like Heart of Thorns, where certain list. events also have the metas that are running parallel to them, seems Syria. like. Glad to hear it. So, do you really know why Jade Tech is turning on everyone? Or were you just testing the comms? I mean, that is very important to know. Only theories, but there's one thing they all have in common. Their power source. Dragon. We'll head up to the control. Dragon room. energy. See what we can. Oh, do. I mean, or here the power, the power room. <laughs> I guess also maybe this power facility that we're in. Are we gonna have to fight this during the story instance? Is this gonna be another one of the strikes? I don't know. I have lots of questions. You can see things kind of sparking. That effect on the platforms looks a lot like Harbinger. And Harbinger does make use of, uh, like, Dragon Jade in its sort of infusions, the, the potions that it drinks, the tonics that it drinks, but, um, particularly that which has been aspected by Zaitan, which is why you can actually see a flicker of Zaitan when you're doing some of the special effects. I like the big boy's design! All of the artwork, all the concept design that went into this is just so fantastic. Okay, so we need to go to the power room. Can I mount up in here? No, of course not. Story instance. <laughs> but I can run there. Did I go to the wrong power room? No, we're good. The technology! It's so kind of retro-futuristic. I dig it. Oh, maybe this was the wrong room? Head to the control room. This looks like the control room to me. 
draft a committee presentation. Readings from the last two weeks have indicated a 3.59 decrease in overall power output, 0.52% lower than previously estimated. Indications seem to confirm Engineer Hu's hypothesis that, despite corporate's assurance that these findings are within tolerance, the truth is more complicated than they would have us believe. The question we must put before the committee is whether we need to get the Ministry of Energy involved. I am well aware of the political ramifications and Lady June's explicit instructions, but are we really going to continue to ignore the facts? Handwritten on the bottom of the page is a note. Soon, don't be overly dramatic. Not only is it unwise to question company policy, but your catastrophizing is only going to hurt morale. Oh, we can go up higher. That's m that must be what it is. Go up further. I like all the little bleep bloops. Some good bleep bloops right there. Well done, audio team. Oh, we can examine this too. The truth about jade. The most prized among two distinct types of jade, jadeite, also called imperial jade, was historically only found as transparent to opaque, compact, cryptocrystalline lenses, veins, or no nodules deriving from natural sources. After Shiro Tagachi's assassination of Emperor Angxian, the Jade Wind released a wave of energy that transmuted much of the surrounding organic matter into jade and petrified the forests and structures of Echo Vault. Jade Wind. Stuff that happened before technically Guild Wars 1. This event transformed the jade in jadeite overnight, from one of scarcity and even sacredness to a highly lucrative business, as the material was ideal for a number of arcane and practical applications. This is what every Canthan knows. However, what is not taught in our history is how Lady June and Juneline Jade have manipulated the market for their own purposes and are using their so-called jade tech to control all of us with jade parapsycho energy. <laughs> <laughs> They're addicting us! To there, the rest of the paragraph is covered by a note which reads, Don't let Supervisor Pock catch you reading this subversive crap! <laughs> I thought that was really going somewhere. Okay, well, nothing there. Could it be whatever the source in the palace was that they were talking about that's causing the jade to go kind of wonky? And or the ruins of old Kainang, or any of the Zaitan magic that's lingering there, or... Oh, we can use the elevator to get back down, that's nice. Okay, here we are. Mai's gonna describe the Jade Network to us. The Junlai Distribution Network. Jade comes in from the east, gets charged up, then ends up here. Where is oh, it getting so they charged? can charge it themselves. If an issue with it's the not power like it's source, just the dragon energy start. that's in it in the Can't JC or that's been kind of maybe infusing it. Keeps bringing up proprietary Junlai technology. Ugh, very dissatisfying. Yeah, how is she Still, powering the jade? The that's the question. The chain, there might be something useful here. Uh, look around. There must be some sort of scanning device the staff use to get energy readings. Okay, let's see. Found one. Looks like it's tuned to the jade batteries. Scan the energy signatures we use those of nearby quality jade control, tech. Yeah, should get us all the readings we'll need. Oh, what's the journal say? Engineer Quan's personal log. Thirteenth of Mekon implant is acting up again. Seems to happen a lot more this past year, but I don't see a pattern. Nuna suggested keeping this journal. Fifteenth of Mekon. This sounds crazy, but I think my implant is reacting to the power fluctuations. It doesn't make any sense. What does my implant have to do with the power grid? Need to gather more data. 29th of Mekon. Confirmed that my implant does malfunction when we have a significant loss of power in the grid. There's some connection. Something to do with jade tech in general. That's the only explanation. 17th of Nenmai. Nemnai. Nemnai. <laughs> Supervisor didn't listen to me, said that my personal problems had nothing to do with the company or Jade Tech. Called me a liar, threatened me with termination. I, I don't know where else to turn. So all Jade has a resonance that it shares, it seems like. And that is like experiencing similar issues as like a medium, as an energy thing. It could just be like the general instability caused after the Elder Dragons, right? Who knows? Use the scanner to take readings on a group of jade batteries. So we've got the scanner. I'm guessing we need to go down. There is like that cart over there. So maybe it's on that. Or maybe it's actually like the battery recharge terminal station kind of things that we need to look for. Okay, let's see. Oh, here. 
Oh, these things. Okay. The really ominous music doesn't bode well. Reading's coming in now. We'll need a few different sets before I can run any tests. The power cell structure, though, how the energy's managed? Alchemy. It is staggeringly brilliant. June is yeah. staggeringly brilliant. She is. Oh. <laughs> Take readings on another group of batteries. Uh, there's some more over here. And they have extra scanners just in case. Oh, they're going to make us do like a little jump puzzle thing. Oh, no. <laughs> the jade scanner deactivated because I immersed it in water on accident. So we'll need to find that one. That's why they strategically put that one over here on the table. That makes sense. And this time I'll scoot along the edge and I'll go here and we will... Yeah, these don't look like these are going so good, huh? These look like the bad stink is getting on them. Look at me using my jump puzzle lessons. Guild Wars 2, I think, has single-handedly made me better at jump puzzles than almost any other game I've ever played. <laughs> okay. Everything's coming in loud and, well, not loud, but definitely clear. Wait. Wait, wait what? What is... I... I don't... Hang on. I need to check... I need it. Hang on. Timey. We're all standing here. Sorry, I, I need you to get one more scan for Her, me. like, lines just, just sure. sound so sure natural and organic, you know? Like, you she's just kind of rambling and thinking aloud. It's frankly outrageous. It's entirely possible I'm wrong. Oh, jeez. Are you? No. Not a chance. <laughs> we'll get okay, you that okay, scan. all right. We'll possible. get the scan, but, like, what does this mean? Hi. Uh, Timey, right? Yeah. Timey's um, like, I don't know who is, who is this. Around? There's something I need to say to her. Oh, well, she's actually pretty busy right now. I could pass along a message. No, that's okay. My turn's completing Thanks. the list of I'm sorry's. The big old I'm sorry to her. <laughs> I think maybe they wanted you to work your way, like, from the, there, because there was a row of batteries, like, from the top down on this. I guess there is just this elevator here, though, so that does make it a little bit more convenient. I just didn't know what the jade batteries actually were. I was thinking, like, the little jade batteries we've seen on the wall with bots and stuff, but it does make sense that in this large of a power grid, you would actually need huge ones to power it, right? So there's the other ones. Okay, well, that's not a good sound. A now. Timey, power just went out here. Scans are on hold until we can get it back up. Power spike. Seen a lot of these lately. You'll need to find the junction boxes and power reset them spike. manually. Easy enough. We'll just. Jade sparks. At least this time oh. there aren't any mobs oh. nearby for them to possess. VG's been the uh, actual villain of the entire game thus far. Energy beings from another dimension. Woo, my health went down fast, you know what? Thanks, Jory, I appreciate you. I would love it if at all of these you could use that Jory combo field. I like the idea of like certain companions that you're with. I don't know, having do different things they could do with you. That was nothing. Let me guess. You want to tell I'm her sorry. how sorry you are. How you screwed up. And that you'll do anything to make it up to her? Wow. <laughs> Detective Delacroix's famous powers of deduction. Truth is, I don't know if I can make it up to June. She's not the forgiving type. Yeah, I would not want to, uh, I would not want to piss off June, <laughs> to be honest. I feel like she would crush you with the full might of her empire. And by empire, I mean her technological empire. Maybe even her sister's empire, aka Cantha. Again, the soundtrack, just a banger. Just really bringing it in. 
to like cinch the deal on how good this expansion has been so far. I do honestly feel like overall a lot of things have been a lot smoother too. Like just the actual logic of a lot of the missions and things like that. Some of the really early um, missions and content and even hearts that you would find in Guild Wars 2. You could tell that, I mean, clearly it was like early on in the game. Um, and a lot of times they just felt a little bit convoluted in a way. Like even if they were really fun ideas, having to try to figure out like what in the what was happening or how you were supposed to do this thing or that thing, it could be like really frustrating at times. Um, although it teaches you to very carefully actually kind of read what's happening and or what they want of you. But I feel like this time around, it has been much more natural and it has felt much more like, here's the progression, here's the stuff that we're doing, here's the logic, here are the mechanics, um, which has been really cool. I think like it really shows the team, not only is their experience really coming through, but also just uh, they had a real eye on that while designing this expansion, I think. I have to say, not really Anka's style. She has a style. Well, Scarlet inspired I mean, yes. a lot of people. She inspired me. I know you think she's a... A goddamn murderer. I mean, she was a murderer, a but... <laughs> eccentric. But she stood up to Mordremoth the only way she knew how. At least... That's how she started. Democratization through chaos. That was Scarlet style. And now it's Anka's. I'm not entirely sure if I understand that saying. What, like... Everything will become a democratic? Like, everyone has a vote in what happens if chaos is happening? I don't know if I think that is- maybe I'm just misinterpreting it to some degree. Um, it does seem like, for whatever brilliance she might have had, Scarlet lost a lot of that in her irrational loss of sanity, you know? Uh, okay, reset, I guess. What's happening? Hold on. Try again. Yellow blue. I'm learning my colors good again. Yellow blue, red. Oh gosh, it goes on. Yellow blue, red, blue. The little mini games in Guild Wars 2 are also something that just sets it apart from a lot of other games. You actually have like little things that you do. It feels again almost more like a single player in that kind of design mentality when you get into missions like this or little open world events. It totally caught me off guard when I was first uh, playing the game because suddenly all my abilities would switch and I was like, what? <laughs> oh, they want us up top, okay. <gasps> no, the elevator. <laughs> It's up top still, and I guess I can't call it down, can I? No! Okay, we'll have to go up the long way. Oh, I would love a little jade zip line up in here. Did I actually look at this presentation? I don't know if I did when we were first coming through. Let me see. Maybe I did. Maybe I did. Yes, okay, I did. I did. There's also this pathway. I think it just is a- it shortcuts around that other room. There's a console we need to mess with. Oh, I see. We fought off the waves in here, and then we do the console. I got you. <laughs> it's all becoming clear. Blue! Blue, red. Blue, red. Blue. Yes, yeah, saying them out loud helps. <laughs> blue, red, blue. Yellow. No, blue, red, blue, blue. Okay, done. Final one, it's gonna be our top room. Oh yeah, and all of the symbols and everything have all gone out on the walls. You can tell that the power's been cut. Everything's dark. Also, oh my gosh, Jory just like, killing it with the sword and the animations, those like, dark feathers rippling around her. The leaps across the arena where she just becomes this, like, dark, shadowy figure. Love it. I don't really have, like, 
a primary necro character, so I don't know if those are just standard thoroughfare. <laughs> What? Just ignore me. Oh, Scarlet! My, you've got a predilection for <laughs> attaching yourself to exactly one kind of woman. Got a pretty good picture of your mom going. But that's oh, no Jory! Excuse. Jory, Scarlet's that's rude! Famous, and so are yours. Yeah. Which I think you was her intention. That. I can't change who I was, but I won't give up on who I want to be. And who, pray tell, is that? Aww. Someone better. I hope you two sort it out soon. We gotta start working together. Red, yellow. Red, yellow. Yellow. Red, yellow. Yellow. Red. All right, done. Well, everything's back on. Go we did ahead it. and run that final <laughs> scan when you're ready. Okay, the final one was up here in this other room, right? Yes, 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 yes. yes. Okay. I didn't quite get it. We need to be a little bit closer. Commander just scanned the last battery, Timey. What do you got? I've cross-referenced the waveform of jade power with every other energy waveform I have in my record. First, I dragon. checked the conventional it's be dragon. sources, yes, right? magitech, ley line power, usual suspects. No exact matches. The closest thing I've been able to find is, well, orines. It's not perfect, but it is within the margin of error. Orine? Okay. But she's been with us. She's only been here for... Even if it's true, how is that possible? It's not just like generically. Orine energy signature isn't orine. It's oh, the result filtering of filtering impure dragon, impure dragon magic. magic. So wait, you're saying that all this jade, the jade is like is purifying by dragon magic? Oh yeah, dragon That's magic. What the data suggests. Was that not a, was that not found commonly known? It from ley lines after <laughs> orine filters it. That's not possible. June's been using this technology. I thought that was like years. common knowledge. Maybe uh, not. Commander, you should go to the other lab. I'll fill in Gorik on the way. One thing's for sure, though. Yeah. I it's mean, this could be like more complicated. An innate property of the jade, right? That like the jade itself is able to purify dragon magic. I mean, we also don't know exactly what kind of role. Um, uh, you know, Su- hold on. Su- Su Wan. Okay, Su Wan. No, I keep wanting to say Sun Wu. <laughs> Su Wan. We don't know how she deals with magic. magic and like how she Something purifies things or- Because she is not Could be like out of her mind like the other dragons seem to be. Entirely. We need a broader data set. Yo, can you get us access to the Napui lab? Yeah, about that. These power spikes scrambled the police security system, so you're SOL. Hey, watch it! <laughs> Stay back! Oh no! Listen, I gotta tuck out. Jade Loader's about to decapitate a bystander. Good luck. Well, all right. Thanks for the update, Yao. Uh, guess we <laughs> Thanks wait for the until quick they little, sort uh... out this whole security mess? We don't have time for Quick that. little update. The Aether Blades could be responsible for all of this. Doesn't seem like it though. I well, the, some of the power grid stuff, yes. Commander, or that me, they're I'm trying to siphon the, the energy power. out of the system here again and continue to amass it. Maybe they're trying to form their own Elder Dragon, a la the way that Mom did. Meet Mai at her apartment. Oh, she has an apartment in the city now, does she? I want to get this waypoint, so let's do that. And we still have our little mount boost, ten percent. In a display of resilience, oh, two big one. warriors from opposing factions stood together to conquer a common enemy. Ah, I love it. Dimension. The Luxon and Kurzik champions. Spotlight Saint Victor Zuhelzer, Archimorus, and their lasting impact on Cantha. I wonder if you're Revenant and you're playing the new Elite spec, and you come up here if they have anything to say at any point, I guess, in any part of Cantha, about their legacy, like remaining. Or Shiro, for that matter. It'd be interesting if they had unique dialogue in these regions. It was a light bulb. Okay, meet my at her apartment. We gotta go down here. I just wanted to grab this. 
I have so much sightseeing to do. So much sight to- oh wait, hold on. But most importantly, I need to pet this dog. This is the most important thing. Okay. The grid was overwhelmed. June isn't going to be very happy about this, so it seems like the power grid failed then. here the city is such a maze but in a way that's actually like really fun to go through brilliant genius <laughs> I got something special today Aber trout tossed in a blend of herbs straight from Lake Lucardus that actually sounds good not gonna lie that sounds good this city is so massive it's ridiculous. All oh, the little nooks and crannies. I'm not gonna lie. Now, look, I do everything from role playing to end game content, and this city just makes me want to role play in every single corner of it. <laughs> and that, in my book, is a praise. That is a good thing. It feels real and tangible. It gets me excited. It gets my imagination going about what it would be like to actually live here, function here, be here. I wonder too if there are like different cycles. It seems like there might be different cycles for NPCs at different times of day. Like if the streets get quiet at night or with certain phases of the meta. Cause we do know that they, the NPCs react and that they like panic and flee during the meta. Whoop, up, 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 up. I see you little foxes. Is this one where you have to like follow it? Yes. Civilian. If you are in need of aid. Go, 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 go. So it does seem like there are certain iterations. Oh, geez. There are certain iterations of these little fox puzzles that you can find. But I'm curious if there are new ones that get added to different portions of like different maps and things like that. There it is. Oh, this is the one. This is the one from the live stream. <laughs> Gosh, this is hilarious. They put it in after the live stream. That is so funny. Oh my gosh. This is why I love this team. I pet the kitten. I pet the kitten. I love the kitten, but the little tiny, the little tiny tombstone. Years from now in the future, when new players are coming into the game and we're on our third expansion of, you know, whatever is happening beyond End of Dragons, our next story arc, they're going to come here and be like, what is this tiny little death, death shrine? What is this? <laughs> Gakai, I might need to extend my stay by a few more weeks. I've made so much progress hiding among the Aether Blades. I will return to you soon, my love. Give Duri a kiss on the cheek, and Malchin a big hug. We'll go somewhere quiet when I'm back, just you and me. Yours, Janin. We've seen Duri. We saw Duri up on one of the levels of the city, right? There was a character named Duri. Interesting. Okay, all right, that was so good. <laughs> That was so incredibly good. Um, Looking for something a little more mild? Give our kind No, only spicy noodles. <laughs> only spicy nudes. I'm sorry. Yeah. How'd you know? Please let me be Tangu. They're such good, good, good friends. They're such good friends. Okay, where's June's apartment? It says I'm like right on top of it. The question is, is it down below or is it up above? That's the real question. Down below, I think. Yeah? Undiscovered point of interest says it's down below. Oh, 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 I keep zooming and I don't mean to. Hold up. And you can see here, oh, it's kind of getting grimy. It's getting more compact. You can see the, like, clothes hanging on different clothes lines. Oh, even in there, you get, like, a little bit of a glimpse. 
So it is kind of still the same. The wealthy live way up above. And everybody else kind of lives down in the bottom at the smog. Oh, there's so many rats and a chicken down here. I'm here, Mai. Are you going to invite me in? Invite or... me into your house? I'd love to. Make me but a cup of tea. Apparently, my oh, shutter right. doors are being a little uncooperative. Maybe they don't work. In a power <laughs> yeah, that this might is be Tango it. Tango Town, Miss Delacroix. Not a lot of oh, trust in JTAC. We're in Tango Town. They much prefer steam power around here. Or my style, anyway. There's an engineer uh, in the area trying to restore power. Goes by Krex. Commander, help him get the grid back up. Aye, aye, Captain. <laughs> Let's go find him. I mean, it could be worse down here, to be fair. It could be worse. It's not like great down here, but it's not terrible down here. It's a little rough around the edges. It's a little rough. Oh, there's the person we need. I still just can't believe the like levels in the city. I can't believe all the different areas there are. It's it's mind-boggling. <laughs> Don't you stand out like a bald tengu on a sunny day, stranger. This is him! This is the boy! Oh my gosh! These are a real kind of bird. They are a type of canary. It is a real bird. They genuinely have this hilarious bowl cut. <sighs> Pretty brave to wander around a new city on your own. If you're not too busy gallivanting about, we could use an extra pair of wings. How can I help? Mount up and deliver these pressurized steam canisters to our steam turbines. If you need a raptor, talk to Strigaday. She can give you all the details. Why do I need a raptor? The canisters are way too heavy to carry on your own. If you want to throw out your back, go right ahead. This is my best, like, bird voice. <laughs> you Crex? My train told me you'd help with restoring power to the grid. The grid here is finicky. Power draw can't keep up with demand. If you take some of these canisters to the steam turbines, that'll get enough power in the system to redirect where you need it. Can you be more specific? Mount up, deliver these pressurized steam canisters, okay. Easily done. You really oh. don't want to lift those I bags. I have to use a raptor. Look it okay. Up for your spine. All right, strong boy, let's go. Don't blame me for trying. Uh, hold on. Oh, there we go. I'm trying to lift those on my own. Oh, it's these like they're on our back kind of theory or kind of thing. Uh, we need to deliver some over here. I could really use a hand with these canisters, friend. I can't lift them by myself. Oh, it's up. Oh, okay. Well, I guess I'll find some stairs. There's some stairs. Strong boy raptor. Oh, it's like a raptor jump puzzle. That's why they want you to. Yeah, da, da. that's why, that's why they want you to use raptor, because it's a uh, like a horizontal kind of traversal puzzle. Oh, geez. Okay, well we got a little bit we got a little bit goofed, so now we're gonna come back. Whew. Try and land it with precision. That's fun though. I like that the different mounts are getting their time to shine. Another two canisters should do the trick. Okay, I like all the little jade bots just flying around, hanging out, having a good time. Chirp up, like cheer up. <gasps> It's a baby Tengu. That's a baby Tengu. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. I have not seen any child Tengu yet. Adolescent Tengu? I don't know. But I gotta go get a look at this. That was a cute little baby. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh, look at them. Look, look they're so little. Oh, that's so cute. I love that so many of them have their own names, too. 
Oh, their little tiny short tail feathers. Perfect. Okay, now what am I doing and where am I going and what's my existence again? Um, we have uh, one that's over here. Up. It's up from here. Oh, oh, all the way up there, huh? Uh, okay. Uh, well, it turns out I had to come back this way anyway. Where? I guess those stairs take us up. So we can go... Th oh, maybe there. Oh, zipline! Oh, but I can't carry them if I'm not on my raptor, right? So I just lost them. Yeah. Okay, well... I could have made the jump too! No! I guess, okay, I can make it from up there, but I can't make it from down below, so... That's okay. That's okay, crisis averted! I do need to go get those canisters again, though. And they are... Here. I was having a hell of a time trying to lift those on my own. Okay. Studies raptors aren't particularly keen on me. Oh, these ones look like they're in different locations now. Something special today. All the scaffolding down here. I wonder if they're trying to, like, repair the buildings or if they are holding the buildings up because they're falling apart. Are you a fan of noodles? Or I am a fan of noodles, thank you. You can locate one on um, almost every corner. It says that the power thing is down below. What, all the way down there? Oh, it is all the way down there. If I jump off from here, I'm gonna die. Oh, I've made a huge mistake. I've made a huge mistake. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Goodbye, everyone. <laughs> Everything is suffering. Have a safe and uneventful Okay, I gotta go back again. Hold on. <laughs> I like all the waterways down here, though. I am getting to sightsee a little bit more. Okay, so he's back down in that square, so we need to get back to there. Sorry, bud, I can't keep having to come back in for more frames. Oh, hey, they're gonna let me do this one again. <laughs> Great! It does seem like maybe every single time that you pick one up, it like gives you new points to take them to. Maybe that was a way that they were just trying to design so that you wouldn't have like players all on top of each other all fighting for the same interfaces kind of thing. Okay, well there's another one. Two out of three. Thank you for taking pity on me, game. I appreciate it. <laughs> now let's see if we can find one. We are having a... An attack, a kappa attack that's currently happening. Oh, these signs and everything. Again, it's just like that atmosphere is so right. There's, oh, it's up there. How, what, you gonna make me jump on those things? <laughs> Why? <laughs> uh, go here, I need to get on top of this roof, I think, right? with the smells of fresh herbs and spices. It's pungent, but alluring. And now we know how it smells down here. So that's good too. It could have smelled like sewer, which would have been less good. It really seems like in order to get to that turbine. Oh. Hold on. It's that one, huh? This is kind of a maze all up in here, isn't it? I'm trying to figure out where you get to some of these is a little bit difficult. Um. Oh, maybe it's all one path. Like, I'm supposed to be able to jump it from here? We'll see. We'll try. We'll try it. We'll figure it out. 
Like if we go here to here. See, there's that little one. Um, this is really awkward to try and jump it from here though. Because you've got this turbine in the way. No! Oh, no! No! I think it will work, but I've just got to figure out the distance on it. Oh, jeez. Oh, man. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Jeez. Oh, this is going downhill fast. Okay, okay, and then on this one. <laughs> and then... No! No! <laughs> Just watch, somebody's gonna be in the comments like, Rook, there's a far, far easier way to do this. <laughs> it's like, this, 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 or this. Meanwhile, I'm over here five hours later. I guess maybe I could take that ledge over too. We'll see. I, I think I can land this. I just have to figure out the distance exactly. <laughs> Why am I like this? Why? Why? I was on it. I was on it. Okay. Okay. These two are interesting. Oh wait, aren't these the two that we saw earlier that were up to no good? Hibari and Neo? Hmm. Here it is, though! We're we did it. We did it. This better be worth it, Maya. We did it! My yes, this better be worth it! You know what I had to do to get up here? It's okay, the atmosphere and everything here is good. It's good, it's fantastic, it's a beautiful city. It could be far worse. Also, there's the raptors, like for new players who don't have them or um, you know, you're trying to get through all of this kind of content, you'll eventually get them, you do get them in the expansion. Um, it's so nice that they put all of that in so that it is convenient for people. Um, even if you're new and you wanted to get to the new stuff, because the new stuff is so good. Um, of course, the story is linear, so playing through the whole thing in order, I think, is really going to give you that best narrative experience. But having been in End of Dragons, I'm like, if skipping ahead gets anybody into this game and at any point makes them want to go back and play the rest, then good. Because this is really like Guild Wars 2. Oh, it's just the culmination of so many different things in this game. And you can just tell, like, it shines. It deserves to be appreciated. It's just so good. Mary says she's got something that can get us into the lab. You believe her? Mm -hmm. At this point, we're out of options. I'm just along for the ride. I was trying to figure you out where to put my water bottle. On the captain. Well, she's had plenty of opportunities to escape. Could have ducked out when we were fighting that Jade Loader. Don't know if I believe she's really changed. But I think she's serious about getting even with Anka. I hope she's changed. I mean, she could just all be doing this for vengeance, which is possible. It would be complex, but still. What's this, like, group over here? They're just hanging out. That's a good boy right there. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Interesting, you can kind of get a little bit of a glimpse into what some of these building complexes might even look like, right? Multiple apartments crowded around a courtyard. It's cool, the architecture is cool. It's so quiet in here. <laughs> Lots of Tengu though, but this is the Tengu district, right? Oh, this is her- this is- an apartment? Oh, she has a lot of cats. She has a lot of cats in here. She has so many. Oh my gosh. 
Has she just been feeding all the cats? Okay, she's having a redemption arc. I have decided. You can't have this many stray cats in your apartment and still be a jerk. There's no way. She's got one of the children's toys from that one event in Xingjie. A broken down jade mech. Interesting. A tanker because she's been drinking so much. And the alcohol by her bed. Oh my gosh, girl. You got to ease back on that. I am going to pet every one of these cats, though. Oh, he angry. He no like. Okay, Horik. All right. Are these, like, named after her Aetherblade crewmates? Because that would be kind of sad. That would be kind of sad, though. Oh, they all angry. None of them like us. Wow. All right. I take it back. Okay. That one like us. You're a good boy. You're a good boy, Zon. You're the only one. <laughs> How about Slick? Yeah. Oh, he angry too. My Trin, you need to socialize your cats more. Her literal dirty laundry that's hanging from the ceiling. She's airing that dirty laundry out, huh? It's interesting that the apartments have this, like, grading effect. I don't know if it's supposed to kind of enhance that feeling of, um, like, there being no privacy. It could also be that, like, at some point, kind of like the uh, apartments we can see across the way, there was meant to be paper in those, but either because the cost of repair was too much to keep up, or they started to degrade and they were just never replaced. So it feels more like a prison, which is very cinematic and apropos, so. Okay. Don't mind the mess. Did a bomb go off in here? <laughs> My jade sweeper broke and I didn't have time to order a replacement. Yeah, this was not no. a jade sweeper problem. Where the hell did it go? Guess I'll help you find whatever it is. Look around my apartment for dot 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 something. How about is this what unknown you device? For? Yes. Oh, my Imperial okay. Security badge. That will get you through Dirty any kind of lab bowl. security, even Decker, during a blackout. Last power cord I'm console. sure you acquired it through entirely An legitimate battery. means. Actually, yeah, I did. It's all I've got left that proves June used to trust me. For a little Aww. bit. I really thought I could be someone different. Could I have gotten more information from her? But you can't run from your past, can you? By talking, or by looking at all the anyway, other stuff? Anyway, take it, Commander. If it helps us stop Anka, then it's more useful in your hands. Well, thank you, Mai. I'll meet you June, in June, you can be someone different. You can. Now tell me about everything else in here. This appears to be, at first glance, an ordinary Jade Tech power core. But, on closer inspection, there's an inscription along the top that says, Employee of the Month, Mikan 1844. Wait, did she get that for her work with June? Huh, who would have guessed? Dirty Noodle Bowl. This bowl is stained and caked with the remains of dried noodles and vegetables, which appear to have been consumed weeks ago. No! Something greenish white grows along the rim. Don't think about it. Really. Really don't think about it. Dagger and mask. Uh, or jade tech device. Uh, this curious device looks like nothing you've seen before, but it appears to have some role in food preparation, judging from the inside being spattered with some kind of pungent sauce. Microwave. Something tells me Maya is still figuring out how this works. How about this dagger? Oh, it's like stuck into it. Ministry of purity mask? That looks like a ministry of purity mask. This dagger, it is purist. This dagger is driven through the forehead of a purist mask. Flecks of dried blood are still visible along the razor sharp blade and sturdy hilt. There seems to be no love lost between my trend and the purists. I guess even pirates have standards. <laughs> yeah, they do suck, the purists, they do. The screen shows a number of diagrams and schematics for some sort of massive facility with notes from Mai to do additional research on the facility's depth and pressure differential. That's unusual. How about... Is, is that Jack Sparrow? What? <laughs> Maybe that's actually a character that I'm supposed to recognize, that painting. I like that even the books have the, um, the Canthan language written in them. That's cool. Like old Canthan. Slick, I know you angry at me. Don't worry about it. This stack of books and papers appears to be a mixed collection of Canthan history, technical manuals on Jade Tech, and selected pencil drawings of June from various angles. Chopsticks. Of all the items in the apartment, these chopsticks appear to be in pristine condition. Carved into the shafts is a Canthan symbol, identical to one you remember seeing on June's dress. Interesting. Were those 
June's chopsticks? Were they gifted to her and she didn't want to use them because she treasures them? Jury rigged battery. Well, that's not good. This appears to have been modified from June Light Jade's design and emits a caustic red magical signature instead of the pleasing green hue of Jade Tech. Oh, the Aether Blades are why we can't have nice things. <laughs> An active battery. This Jade Tech battery has been converted uh, to using another energy source and appears to be powering something that faintly hums under the pile of discarded clothing. <laughs> what is under there? I probably shouldn't look any further. What? What was that? Humming device. This device whirs with some sort of internal motion, suggesting a successful energy transfer. On closer inspection, however, it smells oddly of toasted bread. Now I have a craving for toast. How much you want to bet it's not even meant to be a toaster? I guess those little slots could be. How much you bet she just wants, like, she puts bread on top of it and gets that to chart, like, gets that to, uh, toast it. Sand-filled jar. The jar lid is slightly ajar, revealing the sand within. Protruding from the sand is a small wooden scoop. The cats eye you curiously as you examine the jar. Okay, I was not convinced that they could sell me on my trin as like a sympathetic person. I was hoping for it, right? And I obviously got more invested in it as we've played, but I wasn't really believing from the get-go of End of Dragons that they could do this. But then they showed me this sad woman's cat-filled apartment. <laughs> And now I'm sold, and we need to make friends with her. This needs- she needs help. She needs help. She's got a terrible ex-girlfriend living inside of her brain. Um, and she's got a lot of cats, and she needs friends. She needs friends. I don't think this is my job. <laughs> Cat toy? This toy appears to be well-worn, with scratches from the claws of the many cats lounging about the apartment etched into every surface. At least the cats are entertained. The basket is half filled with fish, seemingly left out for weeks. Yuck! Now rotting and covered with flies. Even the cats are avoiding it as the scent is strong enough to knock over a Giganticus lupicus. Giganticus lupicus were some of the original inhabitants of Tyria, um, predating the humans who landed here, predating everybody else. They were this race of like gigant like giants, essentially. But given lupicus, I'm assuming they had some sort of canid traits as well. Um, we I think we actually see one in one of the fractals, maybe? Or we hear about them. That might have been a different giant that we saw. This device resembles the other Aetherblade audio logs you've seen, but this one appears to be unused. A piece of paper sits beside the device, etched with several scratched out lines of text. Always wondered if people wrote down what they wanted to say in these. Unusual tech. This device appears to give off some sort of arcane energy and is warm to the touch. Perhaps it served as some kind of a heating unit, but whatever energy was inside has dwindled. She's gonna need it because there's no insulation in this place. This place literally just looks like it was once, I don't know, part of like a pipe for a waterway or something and it's been turned into an apartment, you know? Odd device. This device sits on the shelf, facing my turn's bed, but despite many attempt to, uh, attempts to understand its intent or purpose, it remains an elusive, odd device. It... oh? I was gonna say it kind of looks like one of the news things, but maybe not. This quaggin. <laughs> this flyer is torn and weathered, featuring a drawing of a quaggin standing proudly above a dozen broken and defeated foes below the words, Kukuchu the Indomitable. Amazing. That's the alchemy, the eternal alchemy. The diagram scratched on the paper, which Scarlet saw, so yes. Diagram scratched on the paper tacked to the wall appears to depict the all, the visual representation of the eternal alchemy as discovered by Omad and later obsessed over by Scarlet Briar. Of course she'd have something of Scarlet's here. Fishing rod. The fishing rod is made of a sturdy wood, but it is missing, uh, missing its line and lure. It appears Mai, uh, oh my gosh, Mai was a capable fisherwoman, as the handle is worn from use. Something she and Marjorie actually have in common? They can go fishing together and bond. Okay, rude boy, I get it. I'm trying to look at this garbage. The pile of text sits in the corner of the room, haphazardly stacked as though it was assembled to be sorted through. The coating of dust suggests that this sorting never took place. The intention was there, but not the motivation. Yeah, well, my trend seems to have a little something called depression. And sometimes that stuff is hard to deal with. We gotta get her out of this apartment, and we gotta be friends with her. That's what's gotta happen. It's crucial. Okay. I think we did all of it. Oh. 
We left? Enter Napui Labs. Oh, okay. That's it. We're done. When you leave her room, that's like the end of the instance, it seems like. Okay. Okay. Well, let's go then. Let's go to the labs and see what's in store. I am having to resist with every single second that passes the urge to just explore everything here in the city, do every heart, check out all the vendors, <laughs> do any secret collections, look for little foxes. Oh, it's hard, but at the same time, it's also so exciting. The story is just so good. It's just so good. Oh, okay, let's go across the bridge. How far away are these labs? Pretty far, it seems like. But I do love that they put in so many waterways, not only for like the themes of the expansion itself, but also to make use of things like the skiffs. That's really nice. This is pretty. Oh, that's pretty. All the pillars, the water. Back to the ministry building. Looks like where we're going is on the other side of this and then across. So we'll need to get there. Oh, I've gotten 30 new trade permit applications in the last two Ministry days. Ministry assistant. <laughs> Everyone wants to strike while the iron is hot, I suppose. Oh, because of the opening of Cantha to the rest of the world? A lot of people probably want to uh, monopolize on what could, like, what trade or what ministries or what new organizations might be needed for that. That would make sense. Okay, we need to go across the way over here. You must imagine that Canthan citizens must make use of the waterways themselves a lot to get around or access certain businesses or... New part of the city, Bori Ward. Huh. <gasps> Those fish. Tuna? They look like tuna almost, or sharks from this distance. And it's so fun to see people in their skiffs wandering the waters. Oh hey, there's a hero point. Oh, it's up. Oh, it's here. I see. Garden scaffolding. The Garden of Lissa. A small community garden hidden in the middle of the city offers residents a small getaway from life. Now, hold on. Let me go down here. The Kurzik people did revere the human gods. Um, and Kantha, uh, Kantha is the place, theoretically, or at least from what we know, where um, humanity first kind of set down roots Listen, after the gods I brought them here. I met the other day. I'd read about them before. What happened in Ascalon? <laughs> he was very kind. Aww. Juvenile Phoenix! So this is where you could get one for a ranger pet. Oh. That's interesting. I wasn't expecting them to be, like, here in the city. This little garden is so lovely. Little back alley. Okay, there's a boss moving along that way, but we're gonna ignore it. We're just gonna keep going. Full story ahead. I... You just, I just can't. You all know. I don't have the words. I keep seeing stuff and my breath just gets taken away. I'm like, oh my gosh, look at that angle. Oh, look at these signs. Look at the way the light is playing off of them. <sighs> it's just ridiculously cool. We need to go up. Nice, we've got the big arrow here to help. And then over. <laughs> Catch him! You all got that, I believe in you. There's that wall from the trailer! <sighs> okay. Oh, and this transitions and connects into um, old kining, if if the live stream that we saw was correct, at least. I mean, it would have been. They came in from the other side and then they came through the city this way, but we're now kind of approaching the opposite direction. Commander, Tiny caught me up. This is incredible. This hey, is friend. This is huge. Massive. Potentially. 
Yes, uh, maybe. Yes. Uh, potentially is all it is right now. We need more data. But if these power cells use dragon magic, it could explain how they're being corrupted. Timey, Kate. How's oh, doing? Oh, kind of like I'd how like the actual. Oh, this is... she's doing all right. Kind of like but how the elder dragons themselves sweet. were corrupted, so we could Dreaming. figure out what corrupted them in the first place. I'll bet she's doing that mental projection thing again. Irene could be anywhere right now. I'll bet she has an idea what's going on here. I mean, she might. Maybe, but in the meantime, it depends we can too on if uh, right here in this lab. Uh, uh, tiny... Suwan has told her, yeah, or if she I even need knows, to scan right? A few more batteries. They're basically off the assembly line when they get there. And now that we know what we're looking for, I should be able to isolate the energy signature after a few scans. So, could there be something in the world that was like corrupting the magic source in general? We'll take this. And we need to find more batteries. Okay, this time we can use these smaller ones. New jade batteries. Okay. Oh, we've got a lot more to scan. Oh, geez. I like that it's taking us around to look at all this stuff. It's very cool to see all the jade tech being implemented. There's a, maybe a, a lot of scanning. We got a lot of scanning we're doing right now. We can do a little bit less, I think. But you Looks do like get little glimpses out the window. Old cunning. Hmm. Wow. What if I stuck huh. the scanner on my jade? -bot? Oh, they're gonna make us play the with jade bot. That's kind of fun. The same network. We could grab the data remotely. Good idea, Commander. <laughs> okay, this might be fun after all. Good job, Arena Net. You know. You know. I was like, oh, do I really have to do all of them like that? Okay, I mean, I'll go, but... But we do need to find a console. Hold on, I kind of want to look out the window, though. Wow, yes, look! That's old kiting. Huh. Energy scanner. Jadebot terminal. There it is. And then we can fly around and do some zoomies. Okay. Oh, perfect. Yeah, there's a bunch. How did this one get up here? Who threw this up here? Ooh. Ooh. Okay. All right, the architecture is beautiful. I wouldn't have noticed this if we hadn't come up here with the jade bot. Let me tell you what bothers me. This whole time, in the background not a are. single shred of evidence Anka's targeting these facilities. You were the one who pointed us here. You saying you were wrong? I know what I heard. Oh, Anka's it's okay. Well, <laughs> up to something. You've been working with Jun all these years. You had no idea she was playing around with dragon magic. I knew it had something to do with dragons, but this? No way. Okay, alright. This did get fun. This is fun. This is cool. I do like this. Alright, I take it all back. It's exciting to see how you can use the bot and do little puzzles and things with it. That's really creative. I'm inside now! <gasps> I'm inside now! <laughs> Can I see myself through the glass? I can't! I'm standing right there! The Jade Bot makes such fun little noises too, I love it. Getting real close to a usable synthesized commander. A few more scans okay. should do it. Excellent. There are a few things more satisfying than a foolproof sample size. <laughs> you really Nerds. I get out all the time. It's where the bugs are. What? <laughs> That's where the bugs are? Okay. Mitrid and Gorik both need a little bit of friendship time outside. So we'll take them outdoors. On dragons, but bugs and magic? And my powers of deduction are leading me into a promising career as a crime-solving detective. <laughs> All right, take it easy. Let's let the oh. commander focus. Oh. Oh. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> it's hard to tell in there exactly where you're at. Got it! Whee! 
so there's another one through here. It looks like somewhere inside. Oh, 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 oh. you zoom so high so fast when you use those. This also makes me really excited for the possibilities of Jadebot in different areas. Like where there are terminals where you can access it, it does seem like there's a chance that you might find other stuff like this out in the open world. And this is kind of introducing you to that idea like, oh, how are they going to use this? Where are they going to use this? Okay, we got that one. There's two more in here. We'll make our little boy go get these. Regroup with your allies. Oh, we did it. Okay, cool. So we can just pop on out. Final scan's coming through. Now I just need to compare it to... Gorik, check this. Tiny? Tiny, you look ill. Oh, you no. should... This... Tiny, there's no way. The different Elder Dragons? Somebody explain Jormag, what's going Primordis, on Primordis, Krakatoric. Okay, okay, so Dragon Magic Zytan we've seen up to this point, all of it has been in some way combinatorial. Zaitan's magic layered with mortar moths, layered with Kralks. Or it's been that, but filtered. Orin's magical signature. Orin's beautiful, glorious, <laughs> beautiful wigs. Amazing. Did so I, I say beautiful? The beautiful. Of all the dragons. Even Orin. It was a perfect match. A perfect match? What, what does that mean? Pure dragon magic. I've made theoretical models, but never expected to see oh, it. Oh, like... I think it's time we had a conversation the, with June. The Tiny. actual core <laughs> of dragon magic? Not just, part, like, the layered the elementally aspect of no the Wonka. Then it's just a distraction. Timey, find June. We're about to be distracted. Oh, Aether Blades. Okay, all right. So... The Jade is just holding, like, the raw, absolute form of dragon magic. That's what I'm taking away from this. That's what I'm taking away from this. And we'll see if it seems like that continues to pan out as what just occurred. Let's get over here. Oh, they're coming to us. They just picked a really weird way to come around. Let's get him down. Let's get him down. Let's get him down. The combat music is so fun this expansion too. <sighs> okay, okay. And I'm looking really quick while we fight, you know, multitasking at the dialogue again because I just wanted to review it really fast. Okay, so dragon magic we've seen up to this point, all of it has in some way been, like, combined. Zaitan's magic layered with Mordra Moss layered with Kralks, because they were, like, consuming remnants of each other, right? So, like, one dies, the next one, like, it, it takes some, it absorbs some. Oh, this is gonna kill me. Oh, it killed me! But this says Zaitan's magic layered with Mordra Moss layered with Kralks, or it's been that, but filtered. Orin's magical signature, so Orin, those distinctive things, but like purified in a sense. But what they're finding in the Jade is that there's a perfect match. What does that mean? Pure dragon magic. I've seen, I've made theoretical models, but never expected to see it. Okay, interesting. Could it be that like, that maybe June has been working with the deep sea dragon? And that, like, or siphoning from her with her permission or something? I don't know. I don't know. Well, let's get, I guess, let's get our security staff. Oh, you know what? I prob probably shouldn't be resing them. I just saw their sad little dead bodies here. And I felt bad about it. But I guess what I should probably be doing is actually fighting over here. Let's get him! What is this? Stand here? Will that res her if I stand, like, on top kind of thing? Yeah, okay, cool. 
That's nice, so you don't have to take time to like try and down state res your allies, you can just kind of stand on them <laughs> and help them out without having to compromise what you're doing in the actual battle. Yeah, I mean, they Anka obviously seems to have an interest in dragon magic. She took all the magic from Maureen. She's probably siphoning whatever's here. What she plans to do with that is the big question, right? Use the holographic console to contact Timey in June. Okay. Aha! Hey, Commander, I've got June now. I'm catching everyone in. We'll try and get a shot with everybody. Hasn't said what this is about, but I can interpret the waveforms on her screen better than most. When exactly were you planning to tell us your <laughs> tech empire runs entirely on dragon magic? I mean, okay, they didn't know it was dragon magic, you but... experience in this, and an elder dragon's perspective, as do I. You? <gasps> is she the her champion? Partnered. Jade Power oh, is not solely oh, June's idea. Oh my gosh, yep. Green? They are to working together. She didn't have to. She sounds... Tired. Troubled. That's so she's been giving herself to it? In a top secret state of the art facility. There so June is no kind of Suwon's champion, sort of. Contain an elder dragon. You both know that. Not against her will. <laughs> she's there and she's diversion. chill with it. June, she knows about Suwon. I don't know how, but she does. <sighs> then I suppose it's time you all met face to face. Meet me at the reactor. I'll we get to in. meet her? We're gonna meet her, like, right now? We hang back. If Anka shows up with that extractor... Of course. You're right. I'll meet you there, but I'll hang back. Just in case. Just in case. You can always, like, psychic link with her, girl. You can psychic link and then that'll be fine. So we got what? Jade Tech Lockbox. Uh. Flame Serpent Torch. Shiny. That's pretty. I guess I got very excited suddenly. I don't know how long that's been sitting there. Probably for a while. Maybe I just got it. Who knows? That's the fun game of my inventory. <laughs> but it's shiny. Oh, and we have this, the flame serpent chest to choose from. I still haven't picked yet. I'll probably wait until maybe I've gotten through everything because then if I've gotten other ones from the campaign I can like pick or choose which one I definitely don't have so uh, okay all right and a mastery point unlocked oh you know what do I have anything I can upgrade right now fishing four yes let's do it okay jade bots we are leveling oh okay all right okay we're gonna go meet her we're gonna go meet Suana I'm so excited Okay, I get it now. So she's been letting them siphon it from her? I don't I don't care for that. I mean, I do on one hand because again, she's like empowering mortals to use that magic and like sharing it rather than hoarding it to herself and destroying mortal life. So like in that sense that's good, but I mean at the same time it is like sucking her sucking her life out. Is it one of those things where like she naturally replenishes it over time? Is it one of those things where um, this will literally lead to her death? How does this affect the world if all of that magic that should like be a part of the world and its existence is just being funneled into Jade? Um, what happens if it gets volatile like this and it you know isn't controlled and doesn't actually have a direction? Oh, I have so many questions. I'm sure they're going to be answered soon. So yes, that pure raw draconic energy that they were talking about is from Suwon. So that's like, she is the originator. Um, but yeah, how did she even come into existence? She just a manifestation of the of the world. Who's grandma? I guess she's technically great grandma, but. We are going here. Oh, okay. Well, here's our next big question. Can we absolutely buck wild just fly down here? <laughs> oh my god, we can. Oh my gods, we can. This... Can you... Can you believe this map? 
Can you believe the verticality of this map? Who? How did this team do? I mean, like, Aina, I love you. What? How did you make this happen? This is incredible. You need to be paid 50 times as much. Gosh. I mean, like, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not surprised that in the last few years we've seen ArenaNet employees get poached by other companies, Destiny 2 being a big one. Because when you look at what they accomplish, and really, like, for the size of their team, at least as we understand it, it's unbelievable to me that so many of their games that have teams that are far bigger and studios behind them that are, like, these massive, massive mega gaming powers, I don't, I don't even know if they sometimes show this range of just like sheer scope and scale and and like of course there are times in the cycle like when they're working both on end of dragons and icebird saga that i think we see some of that strain on the team we see the fact that it is a smaller company but for them to have come out of the gate and just been like bam with this this is this is some i'm just gonna say it next level shit right here for guild wars 2 this is really innovative. This is beautiful. This is combining so much of what makes maps interesting, so much of what was learned from both Heart of Thorns and Path of Fire, the verticality, the multiple mobilities they have to consider in this game between Masteries, as well as the mount system, which is a part of Masteries, but you know what I mean. Um, gliding. All these different ways that they are introducing and tying in. Even just that little jade bot thing that we just did. Um, giving these things that they have in their game that are unique meaning in a world that is all the more expansive and massive and it's just unbelievable to scale with it. Like, if we had the amount of masteries and mounts and things that we had in any other MMO, it just wouldn't be nearly as rewarding because what would you even like really use it all on? You know what I mean? <laughs> and then you look at stuff here in Guild Wars 2 and how they somehow managed to juggle all the different things that they have in this game. And especially in map design, it's like, and they're still innovating and adding in new things and puzzles and the new little fox things and all the other stuff. This is really, this expansion is really a testament to this team. And I mean, gosh, I hope you, I hope that any of the developers, if any of them listen to this ever at any point, please sleep, sleep for like three weeks. You did something incredible. I know they're just patching as fast as they can. And a lot of them have been hanging out in streams and a lot of them have been, but gosh, please sleep.